Challenge yourself daily. On a daily basis, you have to ask yourself a series of questions. More importantly, you have to take action on these questions. You have to answer these and take these actions. Can I produce more? It doesn't matter what kind of job you do. Maybe you're a teacher. Perhaps you're a construction worker. Possibly you're a business person. Ask yourself, can I produce more units? When you ask yourself this question repeatedly, it triggers your internal imagination, resourcefulness, and creativity. Things start to fall into place because you are an evolving learning organism. You learned certain things in the past, and you're able to connect the issues that you have now with the things that you have witnessed or experienced in the past. Eventually, things fall into place. Unfortunately, this is not going to happen if you do not ask yourself this question repeatedly. This dynamic applies to the following questions as well. Can I produce higher quality work? Don't settle for the quality that you're producing now. See if you can step it up. Can I network better? As the old saying goes, two heads are better than one. It's absolutely true because we're all different. We're all limited and oftentimes we look at the world in our own limited way. We end up developing tunnel vision. If you network with people who look at whatever puzzles you're struggling with from a completely different perspective, your chances of solving that problem go up tremendously. Network as much as possible. Try to learn from as many people as possible. Sure, they may have a very toxic personality. Some of them may be flat out unpleasant, but try to learn from them anyway. Can I reduce my work time? Look at the amount of time you're putting into your work. Ask yourself if you can dramatically reduce the amount of effort you put into your daily tasks. You can do this through automation. You can do it through software. You can do this through networking, delegation, or outsourcing. Ask yourself if you're doing enough to reduce your work time. Now, you're doing this not because you want to slack off. You're doing this so you can invest that freed up time to further automation or further efficiency. Can I automate better? If you're not automating your tasks, then you're not doing it right. I don't care what kind of work you do. There's always space for automation. So, Try to find a mobile app or a local installed piece of software or some other technological solution to automate what you're doing. It can be a small part or it can be a large chunk of your daily work. Can I pack more value into my work? Value is crucial to how much money you make. Let me tell you, if you're complaining about your salary, it's because the value you produce is fixed at a certain level. If you want your boss to get excited by giving you a pay raise, increase the value of your work. This can take two forms. Either you produce more units or you increase the quality of each unit you manage to produce. Can I solve more problems? I understand a lot of people don't intentionally look for problems. In fact, if you're a normal person, you would try to stay away from problems as much as possible. Believe me, I understand that. However, if you are looking to maximize your effectiveness, you have to look at problems for what they truly are. They are opportunities to step up your game. Let's put it this way. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. So, that should be your attitude regarding your problems. Can I connect the dots better for innovative breakthroughs? Not only should you challenge the things that you're doing, you should also challenge your mindset or your problem-solving skills. This doesn't have to evolve like a massive overnight explosion. As long as you are intentional about this, you will achieve some breakthrough. It doesn't have to be big, but every little breakthrough you achieve can be scaled up. So, focus on connecting the dots better. Don't assume that you figured everything out. Always look at whatever challenges you face with a fresh set of eyes. Personal effectiveness is like a muscle. Remember, if you want to boost your personal effectiveness, understand that it's no different from going to the gym. When you first hit the gym and your muscles aren't used to the weights, you're going to feel like crap in the morning. However, the more you work out and the more you put pressure on your muscles, the leaner, the stronger, and the more powerful they become. The same applies to your personal effectiveness. For it to grow, it has to be challenged. So put yourself in difficult situations. Don't ignore challenges. You have to put a lot of stress on your ability to solve problems and your ability to function effectively. Otherwise, you're going to stagnate. You're not doing yourself any favors. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.